Well, if you are a pet owner, you've probably already been there. Your animal gets sick, you take them to the vet, and then you find yourself stuck with a pretty good-sized bill. It's why a lot of people turn to pet insurance to try and keep their costs low, but it itself, that can be pretty expensive as well. Nine News consumer investigator Steve Steger is here with a look at how expensive it is to get insurance for your pet and some of the alternatives to help us save some money. Wouldn't that be nice? We love yeah, we do. We love them and uh, love them so much that Americans actually spend billions of dollars each year on vet bills. And many think they'll save money on routine checkups and emergencies with pet insurance. But Consumer Reports tells Steve on your side, not all pet insurance parents are happy and there may be a better way to save at the vet. Paulina Vargas had pet insurance for her other dogs, but with Nigel and Bella, she decided not to get it. It makes more sense for us to really not to be paying monthly fees, right, at the pet insurance. And uh, we decided to really, was the best option for us, just pay it, uh, you know, out of pocket. Paulina is not alone. A survey by Consumer Reports revealed pet owners are pretty unhappy with pet insurance coverage. In our survey, over 2,000 members shared their experience with pet insurance covering everything from what's actually covered to the premiums they paid and the claims process for getting reimbursed. And overall, there was no real top dog. In fact, most of the results found that the insurance companies were all pretty middle of the pack. CR showed Steve on your side survey data on eight pet insurance providers. On average, the total cost was around $47 per month per pet. Six insurance providers earned a mid-range overall satisfaction score, two bottomed out with unfavorable ratings. So what can you do to save? Put what you would spend on the insurance premium into a dedicated savings account. Self-insuring by putting away money every month into a direct deposit high yield savings account that you can draw from should your fur baby need some medical assistance. If you're struggling to afford medical care for your pet, consider a trip to a veterinary college that may offer discounts on everything from checkups to spaying and neutering. And if your pet needs medicine, shop around. It can be cheaper to order medications online from places like Chewy, Petco, Pet Meds, and Walmart Pet Pharmacy. We are being very lucky. They are very healthy and uh, they're happy. So if people are paying on average of about 47 bucks a month for pet insurance, they're shelling out 564 bucks a year. And Consumer Reports found people pretty much broke even when it comes to the total bill for yearly services as opposed to people who don't have pet insurance. Another great alternative if you're looking for one is telehealth for pets through services like BondVet and POP. That's P-A-W-P. In the studio, Steve Steger. Steve on your side. Nine News. All right, we hadn't heard about the telehealth for, for I pets. I was that shocked about that one. Sounds like a pretty good option. Yeah, it's a great option, and, and those other pharmacies are a good way to try to, because I know sometimes I, I hear from folks who pay a lot at a pharmacy for animal uh, prescriptions, so going to Chewy, going to those different locations and trying to price things out might be a way to save a little bit of money. You have yeah. to train Hudson how to use telehealth. <laughs> you better train Hudson, like make sure he doesn't miss his time no, and his yeah. slot to mm -hmm. get on. But we are fortunate because of CSU having a great veterinarian school sure. and things like that, because that I, that sometimes they are the specialists. That well, you and, can go to. and there certainly are options too. Like I know Max Fund does some affordable pet care uh, for folks as well if they're in need of a, a serious situation. They do some low cost surgeries, uh, and, and for some cases, pet insurance does work for folks because if you have those massive medical bills that's when it might start paying off but if you're just looking at for at it for the routine uh, pet things it might be a little bit more all right well thanks for being on our side yep. steve thank you steve mm -hmm.